Hey everyone, um, this is a very emotional video. I've never done one of these types of videos before. I've debated on making this video for a very long time. I'm about to be 19 next month and I just kind of like want this off my shoulders. I've held it in for like three years now and I just, I want to be at peace. It happened when I was 16, and I just think talking about it and just sharing it with everyone will make me feel a lot better. Even hearing people's rape stories, I just like break down and cry because like nobody deserves that. No one should ever let that happen. Right now I'm like tearing up already. So I'm going to share my story. I'm going to start from the beginning and then lead to that. So when I was 16, I went to my first party and it happened to be like the day after or before Halloween. And I brought my brother with me because again, I've never, I never went to one before that. And uh, I seen my friends, so I told my brother to like leave me alone so I could hang out with my friends and he did. And I ended up getting really drunk like so drunk that I didn't know like where I was. I didn't know what I was doing. My brother found me because this guy was like holding me down, making me sit on his lap. I didn't know what was going on. And my brother, he walked me inside and I met this guy and my brother told him to watch over me. My friend was really good friends with this guy. My brother thought it would be safe to like leave me there with my friend and him and it was. And then the next day, he texted me on Snapchat. I didn't know who he was. And he was like, I'm the guy that was like protecting you last night. And then I was like, oh, I remember you and blah, blah, blah. Then he was like, we should hang out. And I agreed to it. And so we hung out a few times. And then we started like really liking each other. But something that never really clicked in my head was like, he wanted to be with me, but he wanted to keep it a secret. He was 19 at the time and I was 16 at the time. And he didn't want me to tell nobody. Like, no one could know. We started to become a thing after a couple weeks. And um, we started talking politically. And we have different views. And he didn't like that. But he would hold me down and he would choke me until I said, I don't like him, I like this president. And he would hold me down and choke me until I agreed to say that. We were driving down the road one day. He, he asked me how school was doing and I was like, I don't really like school. He backhanded me in the face really hard twice. Second time, missed, got my eye. He just started being like really aggressive. He would punch me in the stomach all the time. I would tell him all the time not to do that. I have stomach issues and he took advantage of that. And he would always do it. He'd hit me, smack me in the face. We would go and get um, bubble tea. There was one time we went with his friends and he said, what kind are you going to get? And I told him the same kind I always get. And he was like, you're not going to get that. And I was like, yes, I am. That's the only kind I like. And I am not that kind of person that likes to try like new stuff. If I like something, I'm going to get that. And when we were getting out of the car, he took my wallet and he closed the door before I could even get out. And he held me down and he choked me until I agreed to get something else. And it just became an ongoing thing. And then I don't, I don't know why I didn't see that was wrong. I really... I really don't get that. And he would say horrible things to my friends. He would try and turn them all against me. And he even tried to turn me against my own mother and say horrible things about her too. And I just, I let that happen. I, I don't know why. And then a few days after that we hung out with his friends, we, we were at his house alone. And we were laying in his bed watching TV and all of a sudden he just like starts taking my pants off. And I was like, what are you doing? I don't want to do anything. And so I took my pants and I was putting them back on. He took them out of my hand and he threw them across the room. And then he held 
held me down and I kept saying no 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 I don't want to do this and it was like it was very scary it was it was honestly like he like blacked out because he was like looking at me like dead in the eyes he wasn't saying a word and I just remembered how scared I was how much in pain I was at the time and I tried so hard to deal with it and then right after that happened it was like he snapped right back and he literally asked me did I rape you I was terrified I told him no because I was at his house alone and like he could have done anything and that was the last night I ever seen him a week or two goes by and I finally tell my mom. The reason why I waited to tell my mom was because he had threatened if I told anyone that he would have me and my family harmed by someone that he knows. And I was like very, very scared because I've never experienced anything like this before. I've never had anyone threaten my family. Ever since it happened, I was crying every single night and one night I was just like, I can't take it, I can't hold it in anymore. So I told my mom and I go out there bawling my eyes out and she was like freaking out wondering what was wrong and I told her that I got raped and then she started bawling her eyes out and like that still hurts me just seeing like my mom cry like that and it hurt, it hurts so bad and the next day we went right to the police about it and wrote the whole report. I had the dates, I had everything written down and they would say like the detective is going to get back with us. They never did and just like nothing ever happened. He got no consequences and no nothing but I have to live with what I dealt with and that will always be in the back of my head that's what I have to live with I waited a long time to share this and I just want this off my chest I just want to let it go I just want to share it with people because I've kept it in for so long and I just want to be able to live a happy life and not have to like still like live with this I'm obviously going to but it makes me feel a lot better like talking talking it out I really appreciate you guys for watching. This was a very, very hard video to make. I haven't really talked about this in a very long time. And I've only told, like, a couple people. Um, I'm just so thankful God saved me from that. And I love you guys so much.